Hi guys, I am uh, making a small chicken, one of those rotisserie ones that you'd find at the say, soup, um, Superstore, Sobeys, Costco, uh, but I took this one and I'm going to cook it up in my cast iron. This is my favorite cast iron. I do have another one that I actually got from a, like a neighbor, but this one is my favorite one. This is one the one that my dad got me. I love like it's so big, and which means it's as immediately after this is all cooked and whatnot, I have to wash this cast iron. You cannot let cast iron kind of stick. Now, um, I know it's a hot day, but I am actually going to cook this so I can have meals right after work and something kind of comfort food. Uh, yes, I'm faking the stove top. I'm faking the uh, poutine or the, uh, not poutine, I'm sorry guys, the gravy, um, but we're gonna make gravy out of this regardless. Um, how, I'm, how I use it. Um, we have uh, cut up potatoes and we do have frozen vegetables in the freezer, obviously. So come along with me and see how it turns out. All right, my little guy's in the oven. That's a heavy cast iron. Okay, all right, say goodbye. I'll see you in a bit. These are not cooking yet. They're actually just on the stove with water in them. That's fine, it's not gonna hurt them whatsoever. All right, so I took it out halfway through. Um, I have another half hour, roughly uh, a little bit longer to go um, to make sure it's fully cooked. And yes, I do have a thermometer to check it to make sure it is fully cooked. Um, took it out of the oven, flipped it over. Um, so now it's going back in the oven. The potatoes are coming along. The, um, let me turn this on. You might not be able to see it. The chicken is coming along. Gravy, we have butter here. All right, we are going to take it out. And look at that. Guys, doesn't that look delicious? Keep in mind, you do have to wash your cast iron immediately after. And we're going to poke it. And see if it's the uh, right temperature. Well done. It's definitely well done. Yeah, no, I'm happy. I'm happy with the temperature. It's actually pretty good. Cannot complain. Right there. This is going to make a delicious meal and some. The potatoes are done. The gravy is done. I have the uh, stove top. This is going to make several meals. Um, a lot of it's going to go into the fridge, um, but yeah, no, I'm quite impressed. Um, I'm quite impressed. All right, everything is done. We, uh, I was going to cook some vegetables, but I didn't get around to it. Um, I have lots of leftovers, so lots of chances to make vegetables. Um, I, maybe right here. My confidence have been growing since I started cooking, since the pandemic kind of, you know. Okay, so I definitely outdid myself. I'm very impressed. Wow. So if I can do this, I definitely can do anything I put my mind to. Wow. Oh my goodness, guys. This You don't understand how delicious this is. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. -mm -mm -mm. This is so delicious. Mm. Mm. So I'm very impressed with the chicken. The chicken is so good, guys. So moist. Um, it's perfectly perfectly done. Mm. I just kind of doubt myself and I'm always like, can I really do that? Like seriously, like, oh my gosh, 
I really need to get more confidence in stuff like cooking and stuff. But it's very delicious. I cannot believe I did this. This is so. Reminds me of my neighbor a couple of uh, two years ago, maybe. She made a delicious meal. Invited me over, and I thought, wow, I cannot do anything like this, but I can. Mm. I can do, obviously, I can do whatever I try. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to keep eating this. You guys don't want to see this, but you know what? <clears throat> the moral of the story is go out and do what you want and try your best. Mmm. 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 So delicious. Guys, go feed yourself. Thank you for watching. You guys are the best thing in the world. One more bite. One more bite. One more bite, guys. Mmm. 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 Thank you, guys. Love ya.